Star Wars Republic Commando was a shocker to Star Wars fans and gamers alike. Released on February 28th in 2005, the game surprised players with an unlikely mix of Star Wars, first-person shooting, and squad-based tactics. Many praise this game for its gritty story that strayed away from traditional Star Wars stories. Many reviewers noted that there were no Jedi and no fruity force powers. It told a dark story showing the reality of being a soldier in war. But I'm not here to praise the game for its wonderful story. I'm here to explore what reviewers dislike most about the game. It's multiplayer. In 2005, multiplayer gaming was the hottest new trend. Halo 2 paved the way for first person shooters to come with its revolutionary online multiplayer, which really hadn't been done on console before its release. The impact and popularity of online multiplayer was not a known thing until games like Halo 2 were released to the public. Republic Commando came out about three months after Halo 2 did, so there was not really any reason for the developers of Republic Commando to create a player versus player mode for the game. Well, that is, until they learned that they had to. A couple interviews have come out since the release of Republic Commando, which have shed some light on the development of the game. From those interviews, fans have learned a lot about the game's creation, like how it was affected by inside turmoil at LucasArts, and that there was originally a sequel planned for the game that was unfortunately cancelled but those are topics to touch on another time. Those interviews did reveal more about the creation and inclusion of the multiplayer modes in the game though. Star Wars Republic Commando has a multiplayer mode that is very basic. It is an assortment of popular game modes like Capture the Flag and Deathmatch. The multiplayer was a far cry from the tone set in the game's campaign, but how did a game that was so excellently crafted like Republic Commando get a subpar multiplayer mode? According to one of the game's creators, the answer is market focus. Market focus basically means whatever is popular in the industry, which at the time of Republic Commando's creation was multiplayer gaming. According to Brett Doville, who worked on Republic Commando, it being late in their original Xbox cycle, retailers were only buying products that had Xbox Live support, so the developers decided to make sure their game sells by including a multiplayer mode. Republic Commando came out in 2005, the same year Star Wars Battlefront 2 and LEGO Star Wars the Video Game came out. So there was not only competition between Star Wars games, but Republic Commando had to compete with other games that included multiplayer modes. It's a shame they had to spend resources on the multiplayer mode instead of on a sequel or adding more to the original game. But nonetheless, I'm glad they did what they had to do to get the game out. I honestly didn't know that Republic Commando had a multiplayer mode until I started researching the game more for other videos. I've been playing Republic Commando since probably 2005 or 2006 and it never occurred to me to look at anything in the menus but the campaign. Have you ever played Republic Commando's multiplayer mode? If so, tell me what it was like in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.